Welcome back everybody, and Happy New Year. It's been ages since I made a video, so I thought I'd make one and show you one of my projects I've been working on lately. One of my X10 switches that I had in my house from years back are starting to fail, and I thought I'd make a better light switch. This one's going to be based on a ESP A266-1S. Um, so, what I have here is a 3 volt power supply, triac, a uh, small transistor to turn on and off a uh, opto isolating diac actually um, when it was directly connected to the the diac it didn't work for some reason but it does with the transistor so that's nice it does not dim the next this is a prototype my next version will dim i need one more pin for that which i could use the rx pin on the a266 for uh, but anyway so this is going to be my new light switch for my garage um, I've gotten pretty good at making uh, circuit board designs that I can uh, quickly cut out with my with my Dremel using a diamond disc. Uh, just as long as you make the lines somewhat straight, you can just zip them out real quick. I can, uh, before I put it in the box I designed, what we'll do is uh, I'll hook it up. I have a lamp right here. I'll show the hookup real quick and the web interface as well so first power cord this one's neutral this one's hot hot goes to this guy it's not plugged in of course I always be very careful working with household, elect household electricity it's um, obviously quite dangerous and we'll just uh, the neutral this is from the, the lamp so we'll just take the neutrals there this is neutral in this case, the red wire, because um, I didn't have any white wire of that size. As you can see, the triac is not heat sunk at this time. Um, this is just a 25 watt bulb, so it doesn't draw much power anyway. This is the line we're switching on and off. Right now, the debouncing is done kind of with the logic of the way it's uh, the circuit is arranged. So you touch that, turns the lamp on. LED goes low, it kind of toggles back and forth the state. It's really simple. This prototype's design is loosely based on something published uh, by Matthew Ford on a website uh, titled ESP8266-01 Pin Magic. I'll put a link in my uh, description below. Uh, just wanted to give credit to that. Uh, uh, the web page I made for it. Let's see if we can make this work here. And we got on, off, we got emergency. <laughs> Turn that off. We can have up to 20 some timed events, syncs time to the internet. So let just take those off. Alright, for that then, I've made a nice little box. Okay. First we're going to start with a light switch you get at any home improvement store. I just drilled out the rivets because I'm just using this piece of it. Probably screw this back together so I can use it for something else. Um, the ground is in the way. So but, uh, I'll show you that in a minute. On the top here, it's going to work like some of my other buttons. Right, um, this piece here, essentially it's going to be controlled by just a, a push button. That goes in here, like so. Okay. So here we have is um, printed the middle piece of this clear. This is what's going to push the push button. And fit through, uh, through here in a normal switch size. We're going to put that in there, and this will be actually glued in here. For, for now, I'm just going to push it in. So that pushes in there. Okay, so that'll be like that. The idea of making the middle part clear is that some of the, when it's off in the dark, expects some of the blue to bleed through. So it'll be kind of like a lit switch then, too. All right. Now, of course, I'm going to unplug this before I do anything more. So, 
trick is in my design, or at least my prototype here, wires come out the front, but to work in a wall box, they need to come out the back. So I've notched the board in a few spots, and these will just kind of come out the board like so. And then out these holes, put in the back of the box here. So let's see if we can't get these through here. I'll try to get those lined up. Otherwise, once we get in here, it ain't going to go. There we go. And it goes. Alright, let me bend down a little bit to my clearance. Of course, this wire is too long. If you had a three way switch, you could just come off of this to a, a contact elsewhere. Of course, you, this is low voltage, uh, just control signal. So you don't want to actually hook up any house power to it. For, the, for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to put the top on for now. Show you how it's going to fit together. Because so obviously i got to solder this up and stuff. Alright. This will go right in here. Like so. And it clips on. And let's just take this. We'll bend this quick. So we'll go right here, like so. Oh, it fits perfectly. Well, if you hold it there right now. I'm going to just get a couple little screws and screw that on. And that will be our light switch. Here we have it. The finished box. Wires are glued on. Um, I got a couple wires out because this is going to a three-way switch. So these will be just hooked up to a momentary touch switch that my X10 switch used to use. Uh, no power will be going through it. we will just short it to ground. I'm going to still hook up uh, some kind of heat sink to that. Uh, it's The reason I use such a basic ESP is the, uh, the Dash 1. So I don't want to have to deal with all the inputs and outputs on the more uh, complex ESPs. Since I only need it. In this case I only need a 2. Yeah. But in my next version with the dimmer and stuff, I'm going to need more pins. So I, for that I'm going to use the A285, but still with a limited pin set so I don't have, uh, have to deal with so much. So I don't need them. Keep it simple. I did some tests with the halogen torch lamp, which is a much higher wattage than you're typically going to run into today. But um, it got a lot hotter than I would expect it. So what I did was A, I made the box deeper. So I could fit a bigger heat sink in, increased ventilation, and uh, well, the heat sink's kind of a piece of copper that wraps around and goes like this, so it uh, dissipates a little more heat. Though the actual load that's going to be on it's going to be much less as a my garage light switch, but uh, just wanted to accommodate the possibility of much higher wattage. Testing it on a 60 watt bulb, it doesn't get hot at all. Once again, this is a prototype, so the finished version, I'm probably going to rotate that so it's, and move it a little further away from the um, power supply. Thanks for watching.